so special. I am so special. Cause I don't wanna say goodbye. You ain't gonna feel me I'm so special. I'm so special, so special. Somebody need to do that. I don't know who needs to do that. Somebody need to do that. Change the oil yesterday in that bad boy. Shit was dirty. You gotta take care of your materials, your items, and your equipment. Cause I don't wanna lose your love. Fossil fuel, everybody, fossil fuel. See if I could take y'all over here and get this cucumber. Yeah, yeah, man. Look how big the melons got, man. Yeah. Look at the the bumblebee. Minding his business. Shout out to all the bumblebees, yeah. Yeah, boss. What you doing, boss? You're pollinating them urban vegetable garden, man. Yeah. Little melons. Bowler bear, yeah, boss. Baba Clark, boss. Yeah, man, that by time you are tough, I see ya. Just a little garden up deep, man. I know y'all wanted to see the watermelon grow. So y'all remember last week I showed you this watermelon? It's the last smaller. So y'all seeing this growing real time. Somebody said the croissants look great. Yeah, man. <laughs> The carrots over here doing their thing. Can't wait to get to these carrots. Leave them in for a little bit longer before I check one. All the melons coming in good. Could have sworn I had a second watermelon. Is that you right there? Is this you? Are you the second watermelon? Could it be? <laughs> Ash ready. Ash ready. Somebody said the damn bugs, though. Oh, they doing their thing. That's that circle of life shit right there. Shout out to all the insects. I may not know the I may not know their purpose for being here, but if being outdoors teaches you anything, is that everything has a purpose. Somebody said, what's the assessment on the Jeep? The Jeep gone. Oh, they can't let the Jeep gone. That's a done deal. 
Barricade gone. Where the Chevy people at? Where the Chevy people at? Like a rock. Where the Chevy people at? <laughs> Where the Chevy people at? Uh, pick up. So that's how I'm doing it now. That's how I'm doing it now. And my grandfather had a Chevy S10, so that was an extremely reliable vehicle. So I just decided on getting um Chevy Silverado. Like, why not? Fuck it, leave it to be. With the torsion bar suspension. So I got to deal with that, but... When you know how to work on vehicles, that's not a problem. Nah, it's a 06. It's a 06 Chevy Silverado. Somebody said everybody has a purpose except mosquitoes. Shit. Bill Gates would like to have a word with you about that. Somebody say I'm shilling for Chevy now. Who who said Honda Ridge Line? Somebody said Honda Ridge Line in the chat. We don't we don't speak that here. We don't say that here. You keep that Honda Ridge line in the basement with the with the rest of the retarded shit. Somebody said Shapiro drives a Honda Ridge line. I mean that makes sense. That nigga's always on Fox News crying. I just left the house watching some shit on Fox News. Ben Shapiro up there. Ben Shapiro bitch ass up there. Well, actually, Joe Biden is actually incentivizing people to not get the, the vaccine. And we all need to get the vaccine because if we don't get the vaccine, we can't return back to normal. <laughs> I'm like, cuz your moist ass always on Fox News complaining and shit. Somebody said Jeep is still the best. I, I got dual citizenship. I'm in the Chevy community now, whether you niggas want me or not. And I still got a Jeep. So I'm doing the dual citizenship thing. And, and actually Joe Biden is actually incentivizing people to not get the vaccine. He's telling the unvaccinated to remain unvaccinated and but so much worse. So we have to put a stop to this Laura Ingram and, and Fox News team. And I have to constantly complain to you guys about everything I don't like in this society right now. I'm like, good man, I bro, I respect this cucumber more than I do Ben Shapiro. Stop acting like a bitch. Man, y'all man, y'all stop crying, man. Y'all niggas Niggas just be crying and telling. And then Greg Kelly with that eyebrow. Greg Kelly bitch ass up there snitching on Hunter Biden. I'm like, leave Hunter alone, bro. That nigga, because he got into it with, with, with his brother's uh, baby moms. Because he was fuck after his brother died, he was fucking the wife. Everybody mad at Hunter. I'm like, she don't get no salt you can a woman will only let you get as far as she will allow you to get unless you take it but that's true shit. a woman only gonna let you to go as far as she allows you to go that ain't on hunter biden like that that's a stank ass trifling ass bitch. your husband dying and you end up fucking your husband brother i don't do shit like that But this is just real street shit. And to get biblical, and to get biblical on you people, shit. You, if you if your brother if your brother died, you had to marry the wife, and you couldn't spill a seed. And whatever whatever child you had from you and that widow, your brother's wife, 
you had to name that child after your brother if it was a boy that's right there in the bible we've come a long way from that though <laughs> nobody look out for nobody <laughs> ain't shit kept in the family now Greg Kelly and them, like Fox News and Newsmax, they just want to instigate shit, keep poking shit. Ben Shapiro got up there with his eyebrows. I'm like, cut up, Ben Shapiro, why you on Fox News again, bro? Because I actually have something to report. I actually want to talk about how the unvaccinated are affecting all of us because I got my vaccines and my wife's a doctor. I'm like, cut I... And Don't Candace Owens work for Ben Shapiro? Don't Candace Owens work for Ben Shapiro? <laughs> the Candace Show? That bitch just a harlot if I ever seen one. Notice how I said harlot. I didn't even say harlot. My cucumber said harlot. She's a harlot. That bitch a harlot. She going from Jew to Jew. Talking points. This same. Ben Shapiro, I, 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 well, actually, I have a black female to say all my talking points, and I want her to agree on Dennis Prager, and, and she can say everything, and you can't criticize her, because she's a black woman. <laughs> like, yo, bitch ass, nigga, y'all bitch. It, man, if, I know it's too early to be going in on people, but if y'all can't see this as a show, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I really don't. Some some people take this shit seriously and they get heartbroken. And then Trump bitch ass had his rally over the weekend. No, nah, I'm gonna be candid with you. We gonna be candid. It was partially because I don't give a fuck no more. I'm over it. Something happened to that. I told you I got into that accident. That shit fucked me up the next day. I was fucked up. I woke up sore as shit. My fucking rib down here was hurting for no fucking reason. I was like, yo, somebody stopped me. They was like, yo, my cousin and them got into a similar accident like that. But my cousin paralyzed from the neck down on some Christopher Reeve shit. You know? Niggas, niggas out here, you know, we got, we got work to do, people sit up here chasing no fucking politicians and their bullshit story back to trump bitch ass this nigga over the weekend at his rally talking about lebron james this nigga talking about america is so communist now this nigga talking about everything but never addresses the core issue that a lot of his supporters really want to know what's up with these vaccines like you literally rushed the same vaccine that they're going to try to force people to take to keep their jobs what you got to say about that oh you don't got nothing to say about that you just want to keep talking about lebron james y'all hear me though you hear me one God, one Christ, you hear me? You hear me? That's why I said, man, fuck Trump. I get up here and spit my shit. And then hit, that's literally, like once you get over how crazy the left is, then you can begin to understand how crazy people on the right are. Them niggas crazy. Everything this nigga Trump said got a roaring applause. For what? For what? This is the same nigga that warp speeded this same vaccine that you'll have to decide over your job, your livelihood, and your family for. And you applauding this nigga on stage right now. Y'all some good, what they call it, good sheep? Mikey, you keep hearing everybody talk about sheep. But that shit biblical. It's spiritual. This is why scripture talks about the idle shepherd. 
This is why I asked in my first live stream, I was like, why do people have to follow people? It's something in us where we just have to follow somebody. That's why scriptures told you, watch out for that idle shepherd. <laughs> now, I don't give a fuck whether you believe in scriptures or not. But right now, everybody following something or somebody. like we it's like we all have a path to a path to take in life everybody's so caught up in the in in the in the theatrics of politics and people really think this is it it's over people really think people really think those people they see on TV are going to save them and then you had people complaining about Black Rifle Coffee. Like y'all didn't know they haven't been like they haven't been. I've been spoke about that shit. Niggas complaining about Black Rifle Coffee. Like some of y'all favorite content creators and politicians ain't doing the same thing. All anybody does in that type of hype, that type of that type of economic success is shield for something and grift for something you find the niche you fill it because there's a void there you fill it and you stay there and you collect money it's all about putting money back into the coffin that's what people do this is what people been doing since times past that's why i say you gotta get your shit together that's why i say you're the important piece of the puzzle you are the important piece of the puzzle no one is talking about because no one wants you to think you have any fucking power. You hand over all your fucking admiration, respect, power. All of your critical thinking skills and put it on a fucking party or a politician. And fuck Tucker Carlson too, nigga. I, I know you watching this shit, cuz. Some of these niggas just need to be punched in the face. Fuck all that court shit. See, there, there's somebody will be like, he's acting black again. He's so violent. You don't know, because I get tired of that type of shit. And then that shit got people so entrenched in this shit. <gasps> it's like, wake the fuck up. Bruh, this literally means more to me than anything they could show me on Fox, Newsmax, CNN. This is more truth than anything Trump can tell me at his fucking rally. This is why I say, shout out to Lead Farmer 7 Trey. He said, if you want truth, you got to grow it. If you want truth, you got to grow it. Now nah, people talking about food shortages again and shit. They never been not talking about it, but now Patriot Pantry done Patriot Pantry. They fucking buckets going hyperdrive. You know, this is all this bullshit is like cuz <laughs> grow something you can you can sit there and talk politics all you fucking want but at the end of the day when shit hit the fan you're gonna be hungry niggas just want to sit up there and complain and shit that's all they do like literally and that shit I, t I told my i wasn't gonna talk about it no more i told myself but that's all they do. That's all they do is keep you engaged. Keep you pointing this direction. As soon as you want to leave. Here come the other side. Pointing you this direction. As soon as you want. Anytime you get any inclination to leave these boxes. These preset boxes. These default boxes. They hit you with something else to be outraged about. That pushes you to another side. Or pushes you further in the box to the side you already belong. There is nothing new under the sun. But somehow every bit of information people act like it's shit brand new. Just like when Jen Psaki sat up there and, and, and had the balls to tell you niggas. Yeah, we working with Facebook and these niggas to get to, yeah, to, to censor you niggas basically. And everybody... <gasps> Like this shit ain't been going on under Trump and everybody else. It's a fucking show. 
It's a fucking show. And now I got on my TV, I see people applauding for this nigga Trump. Like, it's just certain things I don't forget. Like a pregnant elephant. I'll never forget this nigga wearing a live exercise. This nigga Trump off to the side. Well, I wish somebody would have told me just certain shit you'll never forget that lets you know it's all a game. You know, just certain shit. Just certain shit you'll never forget. Like white Christian kids getting their asses whooped all over college campuses all across America. They showing you this shit on TV almost every day. Like niggas getting shot by the police. These niggas, Trump's, got, Trump's gonna do something. He has to do something. This nigga Trump goes out there with an anti, anti-Semitism bill. Trump told, he was on Twitter, remember that? I, I don't forget. Trump told you, Nick, nah, I'm not going, I know I keep talk bringing this up, but this, this, no. No, I'm not letting this go. <laughs> I'm not letting this go. <laughs> he, there's no way he can live this shit down. Every other day, there was literally a white Christian, for the most part, kid, Teen, young adult getting their ass whooped by some type of liberal organization all over the college campus they had it on video people couldn't go certain cities wearing MAGA hats one dude got his shit busting wearing a MAGA hat you would think the president would have your fucking back but he tells you, yeah, I got your back. But what he does, the next day, is come out with a bill protecting Jewish people. Not letting that go as if Jewish people need any more protection from anything I'm not letting that go Trump you a bitch and I know you watching this too you moist as fuck <laughs> then Newsmax get up there and show Hunter and show Hunter Biden smoking his crack pipe this nigga Hunter Biden he arguing with the junk he was fucking when his brother died, his brother's wife. They arguing, they doing something. It's a private moment. I'm like, news, why y'all even showing? All y'all do is snitch on each other, I swear. That's all these niggas do. This nigga Hunter Biden is clearly distressed about something. We know he's a crackhead. We know he smokes Parmesan cheese. We know he's a comedian. This nigga, Greg Kelly, played a whole Zoom video. How did y'all get this footage? Where did y'all get this footage from? Zoom? Zoom, I know y'all watching me. Y'all be leaking people videos like that. Y'all moist as fuck. And I should smack the shit out of everybody up there in y'all executive chambers or whatever the fuck y'all got going on. Zoom, you moist as fuck leaking people what what was that on nah fuck hunter biden and newsmax nah zoom is on that bullshit for real just telling on he telling just rat just y'all some ratatouille ass niggas i said i wasn't gonna cuss this morning neither i done fucked up i said i wasn't gonna cuss this morning obviously i done fucked up
Then Ben Shapiro bitch ass up there complaining about niggas not taking the vaccine. Ben Shapiro bitch. Well, actually, wait, our, our main priority needs to be getting people to take the vaccine because if we get more people to take the vaccine, then we can go back to normal. This nigga Ben Shapiro sat up there on Fox News today, yesterday, and said that Joe Biden is giving incentive for people to remain unvaccinated. Listen to what the fuck he said. Y'all play gang, bro. All these niggas do is play. I swear these niggas need to be smacked. All of them. Trump too. Niggas still worshiping Trump. And, and when you say people worship Trump, the people that worship Trump get offended. We don't worship Trump. We don't worship. That's not what's going on. Yeah, bitch, you worship Trump. Because if he was to come around you, your moist ass would melt. This the same Trump that'll let your kids get their ass whooped by liberals. The same Trump that was supposed to protect you first. But he put Israel first and told you make America great again. He sold you that fucking dream. Somebody give a round of applause to Trump. He played you niggas like a fucking ukulele. He Trump played you niggas like a xylophone. And I seen that shit coming from in deep. And then people want to get mad at me for stating the obvious. Don't say that. He's barricade garage is creating division. We need to be unified. Unified with what? Moist ass people. You know what happens in a wet paper towel? It's harder to get out of. No, I don't click with moist people. I don't click with bitch ass individuals. I'm anti bitch. Y'all know that. Somebody said Mike Lindell. Fuck Mike Lindell. Fuck him too. Y'all, y'all keep letting these people sit up here and play with y'all. Like that's it. And that's the trap. The only thing I can tell y'all, which y'all not waiting on me to tell you anything, but the only thing I can say about shit today is get out the city and grow something. That's it. That's all I got for you. Like you can't do shit. Like it, it was this D-Live video. Somebody tagged me on, on Twitter. I don't do the Twitter shit. You, you, I mean, I rarely post on Twitter. Somebody sent me, tagged me in some shit. They tagged me. Brian from High Impact Flicks. Was it Richie from Boston? Owen Benjamin. Revenge of the... Bruh, it was all these people. And they was like, these truthers need to do something else other than complain and beg for donations. And I'm like, fam. First of all, I'm not a truther. Like, I'm not a truther. I am not a truther. Don't get this shit fucked up. I'm not a truther. Don't put me in that bracket. I don't want to be in that category with them niggas. But I am me. I don't click up based on titles. I am me. Not no fucking truther. What the fuck is that? Fucking truther. Maybe a softer person, maybe somebody more caring would care whether or not the majority of people understood what the fuck is going on today. But that's not me. I really don't care. Sorry. I'm sorry if you thought that's who I was. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's a lot of people that can go to hell in a handbasket for all I give two fucks. Then niggas was like, I click on the video, niggas was like, yeah, you need to convince your audience to go to the house of the elite. I'm like, 
Everybody here already know how I feel about the elite. Redacted said defeatist. Are you calling me a defeatist? Redacted, you calling me a defeatist, bro? Where redacted at? Where you at, bro? You calling me a defeatist? Redacted said a little. Redacted, you know what? I like you. I like you. I don't even... I don't know what's up with your avatar. I don't know if you... A bitch and you know I'm anti-bitch. But nah, I'm not a defeatist. As a matter of fact, I'm elite. This shit is elite. This is the attitude of a winner. This is how simple and basic that shit is. Redacted, I'm going to tell you something else, bro. When you click on my avatar for my channel, scroll all the way down. Look at my mechanic videos. I provide value, bro. I do that shit in real life. I don't sit up here and tell people to do trades. I actually do it. And I show you how to do it step by step. That's called winning. That's the type of shit you're going to need. That's value. That garden, value. That pickup truck, value. My hands, value. That's skill. They can't take that. They can't book burn that. And if anybody come for me, I already know what to do about that. And I got strong ass morals and a strong ass resolve. That's winning. I don't give an inch and I don't fold for money. And I shield for no one. No one, no thing, no political party, nothing. So redact it. Take, I need you to redact that bullshit you just said, cuz. Redacted, my nigga. <laughs> I like you. What the fuck was I talking about before this shit went south? What was I talking about? Redacted, you distracted me, bro. I ain't heard no Blue Jays yet. But that's all I'm saying, people. This isn't people to look at and hear this and be like, oh, it's a defeatist because I'm not in that left-right paradigm. Or because I refuse to give a fuck about certain people. Even if you go to scripture, the Messiah tells you, leave them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both of them niggas going to fall into a fucking ditch. Even he couldn't save every fucking body. So no, I'm not a social justice warrior. The people that's going to get it are called to understand what the fuck I'm talking about. And what a lot of other people are talking about. This is the thing you people don't seem to understand. How many times everybody has to tell you Babylon is falling, but you still want to cling to your politics like they're going to fucking save you? They're not. They're not. You see the prices in the stores are going up. You see the farmers are selling out one by fucking one. You see these people that you call elite are buying more and more farmland. What you going to do? You going to sit up here and bitch about it? You going to sit up here and try to save everybody, nigga? Nigga, you can't even save your family. Half of y'all can't even save y'all family. Half of y'all can't even organize a family reunion successfully. But yet you sitting up here and want to save the fucking world. I am not a social justice warrior. So don't call me a defeatist for having the views I have. This is experience. Sorry to tell it to you like it is. But I like you redacted. I wasn't necessarily talking to you. I love all of y'all. I just don't like some of y'all. I love all y'all. I just don't like some of y'all. I fuck with my subscribers, though. I fuck with my subscribers because I've been to other channels and seen other people's subscribers. And other people's subscriber bases are moist as fuck. The people subscribed to Ben Shapiro, moist. Ben Shapiro, you a, you a whole bitch, nothing but a bitch and everything, including a bitch. I just don't like that nigga. You try to subvert people into getting vaccinated? No, nah, I don't trust you, fam. I been ain't trust you. Cause that small hype, that small hat been getting tighter and tighter. Then you picked up Candace Owens and I told you how I feel about black conservatives. That shit is gay. They only want to use black conservatives to say we have black conservatives. 
They only want to use black conservatives as a liability shield when it comes to the left. All they do is play point and look. Look! That's it! Bro, get out there and get your shit together. Get your family together, bro. Family important. They got y'all thinking it's not. That shit is important. This politics shit is an illusion. And that shit has divided too many fucking families. You don't watch somebody, some of y'all, somebody sent me an email talking about their mother. Stop fucking with them because of their political views. How does somebody that raised you up from a child stop fucking with you over something so trivial as politics? You know, you know your daughter, you raised your daughter. You changed your daughter's dirty diaper. But you won't stop fucking with your daughter? over some people on TV that you have never met and will probably never meet. Fucking sick. It's not them, it's you. It's y'all, it's you people. It's people like the people I just described to you. So anyway, this nigga on DLive talking about, yeah, Barricade Garage and all the other truthers this nigga lumped me in with, he told me to tell y'all he told me to tell you niggas to go to the homes of the elite. I already told y'all these niggas is not elite. You are elite. Not them. But nevertheless, go to their house and see how that works out for you. And then he ends by saying nonviolent in a nonviolent way. The only thing, if you're in a mindset like that, the only thing that can happen to prove a point is to be violent unless you got a sniper on somebody's rooftop on go mode i don't know what going to anybody house is going to do and you might be able to scare that politician but the will of the people is strong and most of the people are bitch made so now you have the spirit and will of bitch made and that same spirit of bitch made is going to put somebody else in just like the nigga you just took out. This ends when we get our shit together. Not a moment before. There's nothing you can do to them. I've thought about this. There's nothing you can do to these niggas. Because these niggas get replaced by people more adamant than them. Because the will of the people, the will of the people like your mother that doesn't want to deal with you. Because you have different political views. The will of the people like your cousins that are vaccinated. And they don't like you and they don't want to be around you because you're not vaccinated. Yeah, that's what you're up against. Not them. They can sit there and talk all that shit they want. They can make every law that they want. They can say anything they want to say. But it's up to the people to obey. If the people don't obey, then that law, whatever the fuck it is they made, executive action holds no fucking weight. And they have to change plans and act according to the will of the people. The will of the people is bitch made. The people. It's the people. So whoever that was on DLive that made that dumbass video, bro, you sound moist as fuck. How about you get your shit together? Don't lump me in with no fucking truthers, bro. Who the fuck you think this is out here? I'm not a fucking truther. I'm a farmer. I'm a fucking farmer. That's all it is, people. Don't tell me to tell my people that watch me that they need to go knock on these niggas' houses. That shit ain't gonna accomplish nothing. My shit was fucked up after that accident. Now, every time I drive someplace, I see Honda Pilots. Every time I'm driving down the road in the right lane, and I had the right of way, they settled that shit ASAP. The insurance company, she got fucked up in that Honda Pilot. That Honda Pilot fucked her up. With barricade steel bumper, that shit fucked her up. She took three L's that day, the person that hit me. Not only did you hit me and you got fucked up, you sitting there all sprawled the fuck out crying and shit. She was okay. She ain't dead. She'll get over it. Get over it. As soon as I got out the Jeep, I had to walk that shit off.
I took like 210 steps that way. People hopped out their cars. It was like, yo, you need to sit down. I'm like, no, bitch, I can't sit down. I don't sit down. I felt like I was in a fight, and the last thing you want to do is sit down. I felt like I was attacked for real. Them accidents ain't nothing to play with. And people, that was, that was going no faster than 35, and I got fucked up. She got fucked up from that shit. Her car crinkled like, crinkled like Chris. I got out the car, I was like, yo, what the fuck is that? Airbags every fucking which way? I didn't even say nothing to her. Everybody, you all right? That bitch was all right. Hmm, bitch, you fucked my day up. And I can talk about you like this because you'll be all right. I know. Insurance called me. They was like, all right. Yeah, she was definitely in the wrong. So how much money you want? We started talking uh, financial shit. <laughs> Niggas took care of that shit ASAP. But I'm built like a rock. What can I say? I'm fucking solid. So I went and got a Chevy Silverado. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I need more pulling power. I'm broke. If I wasn't so broke, I'd have been done gotten, you know, I would have got the Cummins, but, you know, or Duramax at least, but, you know, baby steps. Baby steps. Everybody starts from some place. You just got to appreciate what you got and understand what real value is. You got to appreciate what you have. Take care of your shit. That's why I opened this video up changing the filter on my lawnmower. A lot of people like to use a lawnmower, but most people don't want to take care of it. Because we live in a disposable world. People feel like, hey, if I get something and it break, I'll just go get another one. Nobody wants to take care of shit they already got. Nobody wants to make things last that they already had. Same thing with people buying house. I buy a house, I will buy another one. I sell this one, I can go live another one. You're renting. Give a fuck if you bought it or not. Now and you in debt and you owe the bank some shit of money and you're just renting. So when they when 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 these truthers tell you <laughs> you'll be renting, you'll own nothing, and you'll be happy. Who said that? Klaus Schwab and them? You're already doing that. Take care of what you got. Make that shit last. Make that shit work. I'm taking care of that shit now. I want a Z mower. I want a Z. <laughs> I want a zero turn motor. Y'all need to run them donations so I can get a Z mower. Run them fucking donations <laughs> so I can get this Z mower. No, that's one thing I can say though. Dude called me a shit and said all I care about is Patreon. And, and collecting money from my subscribers. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. <laughs> Who the fuck is that nigga? I hope you watching this too with your moist ass. Somebody said BG has no, I don't have a Patreon. That was a joke. Somebody said I just quit. Somebody said I just quit my job again because they are requiring a mask. Shout out to you. Stand stand on that shit. Be principled. It takes real men to execute real change. And real men understand sacrifices and hard work for the goals that they want to achieve nothing in life ever comes easy you got to stand on that shit you can't buy off real men real men understand that sacrifice makes change and there is no change without sacrifice that applies to anything you want to do i learned that shit the hard way 
Some people learn it the easy way. Some people have a harder time than others. But the moment you stop and you start pointing and you start. The minute you start doing that, you lose. I'm not telling people to quit their job. I'm telling you. If it's sincere, then fucking leave. And if you stay there and you know every day you go into work and you feel that shit in the pit of your stomach, like, yo, I'm fucking up. If you can't live with yourself, if you feel like a bitch, if you can't, if you feel like you can't get on my live chat and tell me what you did without me calling you a bitch, chances are you're living wrong. Chances are you are a bitch. And nine times out of ten, I will tell you this. <laughs> Somebody hop on the live chat. Hey, I kept my job even though I, I didn't want to because they was like, you got to get the vaccine and wear masks. So I did it. You a bitch. Because it be them same type of people that don't want to put no work in. They don't want to sacrifice nothing. They don't want to have no skin in the game. But yet they want to sit up there and tell everybody else what they should do. And people, I'm living proof. I've already done this. You can't get me to do something I don't fucking want to do. At the same time, I'm a man. I understand. Boys do what they want. Men do what they have to do. Yes. But I never compromise on my core beliefs. I'll never be in a situation riding down the road like, damn. Damn, I fucked up. I should have held fast and stayed true. Bro, you can't get me to feel like a fucking sellout. And I implore all you men out there to do the fucking same. Freedom Inc., I am not fucking with that Buick. <laughs> Free, Freedom Inc., where you go? The chat just scroll. Freedom Inc., no, nigga. <laughs> Freedom Inc., come back. <laughs> Freedom Inc., when you get out there and look at that truck. What truck? That Buick, nigga? <laughs> no. You are on your own, nigga. Scanner Danner. Shout out to Freedom Inc. <laughs> Freedom Inc., you wide as hell. <laughs> The Grand Prix GT, I'm not fucking with it, bro. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> you still ain't fixed that? You still ain't fixed that vehicle, bro? I thought you been got that straightened out. Freedom Inc., I thought you been had that straightened out. I ain't even gonna lie. That, that Grand Prix been man down for many moons now. Yeah, I seen you've been working on the house to sell. Freedom Inc. said, did you see the mom's demand action? No, nah, I'm going to check out your video when I'm finished live streaming, though. I'm going to go over there and check it out. Somebody said Merch. Somebody said Merch from Nightwave sent me. Shout out Merch from Nightwave. That's a funny motherfucker. That's a funny. Merch from Nightwave did the funniest take on that Black Rifle Coffee situation. I was listening to that shit going up the road on Nightwave Radio. Everybody been told you, but what they say, grift is going to grift. And the, the MAGA people allow this shit to continue. Somebody said early, bro. Yeah, I'm out here early. I got work to do. Toyota Helix is what BG need. No, I'm good, bro. I'm good. That's that Taliban shit. Huh? That's that weapons of mass destruction or somewhere. Ain't it? Ain't it all of them? All of them niggas. Hey, that's that ISIL. ISIL. That's ISIL. Vehicle of choice, ain't it? The Toyota Helix. Didn't every ISIL member have that shit with rocket with rocket launcher strapped to the back? How the fuck did you acquire this many Toyota Helixes? Ice. Well, first, we got to do something about ice. Michelle, hand me that cucumber. <laughs> Michelle. No, not this cucumber, Michelle. The cucumber between your legs. Some of y'all sleep. Some of y'all woke some of y'all up. 
Some of y'all need to get outside and cut that fucking grass. And keep building shit. Some of y'all need to learn how to work on your fucking vehicle. If you don't, someone redacted where you at. I fuck with you cuz, but I got to bring that point back. Redacted said I'm a defeatist. No. <laughs> What's defeatist is not growing your own shit. That's defeatist. What's defeatist is not taking care of the shit you have and appreciating it. What's the fetus is having a family and fucking around on your woman. That's the fetus. What's the fetus is not growing your own food. I already said that. Try to grow your own soil. I already said that. What's the fetus is not having a skill whatsoever. ever. What's the fetus is not keeping the family unit tight. I'm not a defeatist. I go hard. 